Hey guys, AK James 762 here. Back with another review. The old Home Defender. This is a Century Arms model JW2000. It is a double barrel, 12 gauge. It is empty. It's got a about an 18 and 5 8 inch barrel, 18 and a half, something like that. I cut it down. It was a 20 inch, but uh, I cut it down. I got it because it's, it's you know it's one of those old cowboy style guns. I got the uh, you know the hammers. Pull the hammers back. It is safe. Go ahead and let the hammers go. And there is a uh, tank safety on it right here. There's two triggers, so that means uh, if you've got the balls, you can fire both barrels at the same time. And I have before. It's fun as hell, but it feels like getting hit by a truck. You can only do it a couple of times, and you're like, fuck! You know, you're out of breath. Knocks the fucking wind out of you. It can handle slugs. It is a smooth bore. But if you have the standard factory end on the uh, barrel if you don't cut it down do not shoot slugs out of the left side barrel because it will bulge and I made that mistake and that's one of the reasons why I cut it down because there was a bulge in there and I didn't want to take a chance at it blowing up in my face so I just went ahead and cut it down to 18 and a half I do have ballast all all over this because it was giving me a little rust to, little rust fit so gave it a good wipe down with some ballast oil easy to break these old uh, double barrels down just this little tab right here you just pull on this tab little hand guard pops right off flip around here and use the, uh, the lever that you use to open it just comes apart three pieces put it in your duffel, in your, uh, duffel bag or your case or what have you Pop it back together real simple, just like that. It's got some weight to it because of the, the two barrels, obviously. It uh, runs buckshot, target loads of all sorts, seven and a half, eight shot, six shot, four shot, high brass game loads, uh, slugs, those Winchester PDX-12 Defender, PDX-112 Defenders, excuse me, runs Run, it ran everything I put through it just, just fine. Wax slugs. I put some uh, experimental expedient loads. I've uh, loaded up some bucks or, or excuse me, some shotgun shells, some uh, old target loads. I loaded up the shells with some random crap I found around the house just to shoot it. And it shot everything perfectly. Never had a single problem with it. Um, oh, excuse me. There was one problem when I first got it. When you first shoot this shotgun, it's going to be hell getting the damn thing open. Because I'm guessing that since it is brand new, it's so tight that when you shoot the lug inside that allows you to open it, gets the, the barrels, I guess, are you know brought back into the actual, if you want to call it a receiver, and the shells expand and the brass expands back and it's just you it's just stuck you can't get it open I had to grab the damn thing like this and hold the lever and pretty much hit it over my knee like I was breaking a, a twig or something you know breaking a stick or something to finally get it to pop open didn't do any damage to the gun that was my main concern whenever I finally got it open I inspected the gun thoroughly I took it apart and inspected each part very thoroughly to make sure there was no damage to the gun and there wasn't now <clears throat> when I got this gun it was around the same price range as like a brand new Mossberg 500 or something like that I got it because it's like a, one of those old it, it's called a, uh, a stagecoach gun or a coach gun it's one of those old you know western cowboy style guns and th that's what kind of drew my eye to it that's kind of why i like revolvers i don't have a single action revolver and i want one i want to get like a, a ruger vaquero or something like that you know in like a, a 38 special or a 45 colt or something like that I, I like the old cowboy type shit that's why i got a uh, marlin 3030 just because of the old you know lever gun 
you know, the cowboy action shooting stuff. That's what drew my eye to it at first, because, you know, you, you, everybody's heard or used the term riding shotgun, you know, I call shotgun. Well, that's where this originated, that's where that originated from, because the person who rode in the stagecoach up front next to the driver had something like this, double barrel 12 gauge, or back then they might, I think back then they used 8 gauges or 10 gauges, you know, bigger bore, and I wouldn't mind having a 10 gauge, but gun prices right now I can't really afford to buy any new guns but it's always fun to window shop anyway back to the point to the uh, to the gun this is my home defender I keep it uh, I keep a either a buckshot in one side and a slug in the other or I keep two of those Winchester PDX 12 where it's a three buckshot with that that little uh, I think it's a, like a one ounce slug or something like that in it with the three buckshot. And people say that slugs and buckshot is over penetration and shoot through the wall and hit your neighbor or whatever. It's it's not going to be a problem. Where I'm at, it's not going to be a problem for me. So, I mean, I'm going to use what I feel necessary to defend myself and my loved ones, my possessions, my home, etc. I'm not going to use a rifle. I don't believe that anyone should use a rifle for home defense unless you have a ranch or a farm or something like that where there's no other people around for a couple hundred yards or a couple miles or whatever. If you're using like an AR-15 or an AK as home defense and you're living in an apartment or you're living in the suburbs or something, you need to rethink your strategy because you're going to kill somebody. 12 gauge is the perfect home defense gun out there. Load that motherfucker up with even target load. Even target load will will do some damage. But anyway, I highly recommend a shotgun like this. It is Century Arms. It's Chinese made, which is going to rub people the wrong way. Some people. And I mean, from what I've done research on, Chinese, the Chinese have made some pretty damn good guns. They make some, some decent uh, AKs and SKSs. You know, the Norinco Type 56s and the uh, Paratrooper SKSs. And then they got the, the Mac 90 AKs, which I hear people rave about all the time on YouTube and online. I mean, I have uh, two Chinese shotguns. I've got this Century Arms, and I've got that uh, Century Arms SAS-12 that I showed a, a few weeks back. Actually, it's about a few months back. And I'll have to put that in a video sometime. I'm... I, uh, I've been trying to get to the range. It's just, they got the, the rent damn range opens at 10 in the morning, and guy that runs it up there says that people are usually lined up about 9.30 waiting to get in there. I mean, it's just, it's just hard to get to the range. Well, I know I've been, been rambling on, so I hope this hasn't been too bad of a review, but all in all, it's a great shotgun. It's reliable. The only problem I had was when I first bought it, it runs any any type of load you put through it except a slug through the left side because it's got a uh, full choke on the left side and a modified choke on the right side I believe or maybe it's full choke and cylinder bore it's it's they're flip-flop they're not the same which is which is stupid to me that's why I cut it down so now both of my barrels are cylinder bore I can shoot whatever the hell out of it I want but uh, it's got this I mean the stock it, it's not real wood, obviously. It's got this goofy, it's supposed to be rubber, but it's not. It's like hard as hell. But I've got a gel sleeve that I put on there sometimes. Like if I'm going to shoot some heavy loads out of it, like some uh, high brass or like a magnum buckshot load or, you know, things like that. I may have it actually right here. Let's see if I got it in here. Oh, got this as well. I put this on my uh, Maverick 88 too. It's a little one of those buttstock sleeves. Holds five shells. It fits on there. I put it on there before. Here's the uh, the rubber pad. It's just it's real real soft, gooey rubber, whatever you want to call it. Squishy. Doesn't even feel like a damn thing. You can shoot a Magnum buckshot load with that on your shotgun, and you won't feel a thing. It'll feel like a 22. Well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, keep watching. Stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe for me.